What is up guys? It's that GTA Fan 720 with yet another video. Now, many of you guys saw my tutorial on how to set up and use VMware Workstation Pro. So, as a result of that, I've gotten many people, and by many people I mean nobody, and I'm simply doing this because I feel this will help you guys. But anyways, we all know the story. Okay, Windows computers, they slow down, how do we fix them? Okay, you bought your new computer, let's say three, four, five years ago, and when you bought it, it was super fast, it was super powerful, it could do everything, it flew. It was just, like, completely, insanely fast, like, fastest computer you've ever had. And then now, look at that same computer. Is it performing as good as it was the day it came out? No. That's a fact. The answer is no. However, I can get you to as close as possible to your computer essentially being restored to the way that it was back when you first bought it. Of being restored back to its original zooming power. Let's get into this. So, if you want a simple answer on what it is that you need to make your Windows computer run fast and stay fast, Komodo Free Internet Security Premium, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, CCleaner, glass wire if that's all you needed to know goodbye you know enjoy the wonderful tools the be all end all tools to make your system run faster okay if you want more in depth stick around I think you guys will enjoy this or at least you'll enjoy it once your computer speeds up okay let's shut up and get into this let's start off Komodo Free Internet Security Premium. I have links to all of these programs down in the video description so you can grab them for your wonderful system as well. Komodo Free Internet Security Premium. If you want a one-stop shop, you don't want to deal with anything else, then this is the one you go for. If you just want to download one thing and it has everything you need, no fussing around, no bullshit, it just works, here is the ultimate solution, okay? So, if you want, no matter what you're doing, to essentially just be secure, be fast, and work, this is the closest you're going to get with one single tool, okay? So, Komodo Internet Security Premium 10. Obviously, if you're watching this in the future, in 11 and 12 and 13, whatever have came out, then same thing. I have this in the advanced mode. This might look very scary, but when you first open it up, it goes into this basic view. And this is all you need to know. Scan, unblock, update, secure shopping. Oh, you probably don't need to know secure shopping. Uh, unless you shop on your computer, which I'm pretty sure most of us do. I, I know I do. I, I buy lots of things on Amazon and eBay and stuff like that. So here's a, here's a good thing to help you with that. Okay? So, what do we need to do? Well, scan. Simple. This program runs in the background. You can see it down here in the system tray. You have all this stuff. You even have a fancy little widget, okay? If you don't know what any of this stuff is, here's, the, here's where the magic happens, okay? So, we got Internet Explorer, Chrome, and Firefox. So why are these here? You have them on your desktop, so who cares? Well, okay, let's say I have Chrome open up here. And let me open up Chrome, and we have a separate Chrome, okay? Notice this green box around it. That's because it's secured. Komodo has this thing called a sandbox, okay? Which essentially means that if you have something on your system that looks a bit sketchy, it'll essentially say, okay, you, you, get out of line. We're going to pull you to the side. We're going to monitor you for a little bit, okay? If you're not doing anything wrong, we'll let you out. We'll let you free. But if you're doing something bad, we're going to keep you locked up in here. And it'll be... It'll be the admin's decision on what it is he wants to do with you, okay? So that's basically it. It's basically just a browser that's separate from the one you already have. So if you're trying to go on some, you know, banking websites, I know it's like the stereotype of like what people do with their computers, but let's be honest, like what else do you would you use this for? Anyways... So essentially, if you need a more secure way of accessing your web browser, here it is. 
That's basically what that is. So if you download some, cre you know, crazy on here, or if you go into like an email, it's like a phishing li phishing link. This will block it. Block it at the front end. Doesn't even get to your machine. So we have that covered. What else does this program offer? It has a firewall, so you're not using Windows firewall. You're using Komodo's. Everything goes through goes through this. And you also have their secure DNS. Again, all included in this one app. Which essentially means that if you go onto a bad website, then it will block it. It'll pop up a big page saying, a big red page saying, hey, Komodo kept you from being protected. Okay? So that's basically that. It keeps you protected. If there's anything that you need to know about this, it's literally just install it. And then just shut up. Let it do its thing. And it will tell you if there's something going on. It'll tell you if, you know, you like say if you're on a laptop, it'll tell you when to join a new network. It'll tell you if a threat's been detected. It'll tell you if it's blocked a website. Whatever. It's all covered through here. They do have a premium version. Even though this is called Internet Security Premium, this is still the free version. That's how much you still get, even though this is a completely free version. The, I don't even I legitimately don't even know what the premium version offers you because this offers me so much So who knows what the premium version can get you, but this is the free version I'm not sponsored by any of these companies. I wish I was because I love their products, but you know like you know Microsoft doesn't sponsor me Komodo Malwarebytes Samsung Lenovo none of these companies sponsor me. Okay, I'm, I'm too small and too crappy to have a sponsor Okay, mark my words so this is your one-stop stop. So, you might be thinking, okay, well, if this is my one-stop stop, you've wasted seven minutes of my life, now get on to the other program. So I'll be like, okay, 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 I got you. I have you covered. Get rid of this. What's next, okay? Antivirus, anti-malware, are they the same thing? No, they are not. They are not the same thing. Let me prove that, okay? This is... Is internet security also known as an antivirus this is malware bytes anti malware isn't a virus and malware the same thing nope it is not the key is is that viruses are what usually your typical types of threats you know the like the email phishing links and you know stuff like that whereas malware is more like just legitimate like not well not legitimate obviously but like full-fledged software that's designed to do something but is still rogue in some way as opposed to something whose sole purpose is to completely take down your computer make sense good so this is malwarebytes free now when you download it it gives you an option to, to start off with the premium which scans your computer although malwarebytes free is where you go because the way this works is you have komodo always running in the background always scanning so if you see if it sees something it'll, it'll pop it away but this guy you scan with this guy once in a while and then it will say hey you got some on here like if I go my quarantine I have some stuff in here legitimately and I actually found this in when I was doing when I was rehearsing this video earlier so I can just click on this delete them and then I can just delete them restart my computer there you go I'm not gonna delete them right now because I'm in the middle of the video so that's that you run it and it gets rid of basically any threats that Komodo doesn't cover because think about it like this no anti no no security product is perfect you have to have multiple layers of security people always mistake that security is one product it's one firewall one antivirus one system cleaner it's not okay and you are lying to yourself if you believe otherwise it doesn't matter how much money you're paying for a program if there's one thing that it does then it's not covering anything and people always make the mistake of buying those big products those security suites that have everything included I know what you're thinking isn't that what this is is not that what this Komodo stuff is no because it's not anti malware it's antivirus firewall and sandbox you might be thinking that's probably too much nope it just can't have everything so Malwarebytes is always a good second opinion. No matter what you agree on with the antivirus, pretty much everyone swears by Malwarebytes. So having these both side by side, this one running and this one idle that you run on your own time if you detect something wrong with your system, then this is 
almost, keyword almost, nothing's perfect, but this is the closest you're going to get from a consumer level to being securely and in terms of being able to be compromised bulletproof. So we have these two programs and they both work. So I'm covered then, right? Well, yes, you are. If all you care about security, goodbye. Okay. I'm kind of piecing out the specific audiences and pushing them aside so they know exactly what to get and they're not wasting their time. So if you care about security and that's all you need, Komodo Malwarebytes. Run along, have fun. If you just care about an anti-malware, Malwarebytes. If you just care about a complete internet security suite and you have some other stuff that goes with it, then Komodo. What if you want a way that you can monitor? What if you're a bit more tech savvy? Or you're trying to monitor, maybe you're worried about Windows 10 spying on you. You're worried about the Microsoft phoning home features. Well, get this little app. It's called Glasswire. Not to be confused with LimeWire, which is like a torrenting thing from a little bit ago, but it's called Glasswire. This essentially is a network monitor. Let me go back to the live feed here. And what this is, is it monitors all your up and down traffic. You can see this says down, this says up, and pink and orange in this case because I have this specific skin. But essentially what this is, it monitors, it monitors itself as a firewall. So you can, if you see something that you don't want to run, just click this little fire icon it's very idiot proof and then that app can no longer get access to the internet let's say I don't like Internet Explorer okay now I'm gonna firewall Internet Explorer there's two of them so I'll firewall both of them okay so those have been firewalled now what if I open up Internet Explorer I try to open it it's not loading Oh, what's wrong can't reach this page okay so we have it firewalled where is it it's up here so we have Internet Explorer firewalled and now it cannot get access to the network and you can see down here I, I have network I have network okay I'm watching you know I have something else open right here so what does this mean if you see something bad in here and you know what to look for then you can block it if you don't care about that and you just want to see what's going on, go to the graph. This is essentially, if you see a spike, click on that spike. What was this? Google Chrome. This was a spike that Google Chrome made connecting to this IP address, connecting to, you know, plus nine more. So lots of different IPs, you know, lots of different URLs. This is essentially, it's like a packet sniffer. You know, you see like, you know, Wireshark or something like that where you know, they can figure out where something's going. This is basically what it is. And this also has usage. It has network. Um, although the network is what you get in the premium version, so you can essentially monitor multiple computers at once. So, and then we have our alerts. So anytime, you know, it changes proxy settings or a certain app accesses network, you can see SideSync, you know, for my phone. SideSync, the version changed, first network activity, etc. It catches all of that. It'll tell you anytime something changes or something like that. Anytime something happens in the background, you will know about it. If you're interested in that, then this is perfect. Although this isn't like your traditional firewall. It's more of a manual firewall. So it will not, as far as I know, it will not automatically detect a lot of malicious things. It's more just, it's there if you know, if you know what you're doing, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can physically shut something off if you don't want it there. And then, of course, you do have also the advantage of having this pretty little live demo of everything going on. So, again, it's like, okay, I see this spike. What's this spike? You know, Google Chrome and one more. So, it's Google Chrome and host process for Windows services. Okay? Most of you probably wouldn't even know that. But we know now that that is something that happened. So, okay, let me show more example. This is very in-depth. So, let's say I open up the store. Microsoft Store. So, what just happened, go back to live, what just happened here? Google Chrome, Microsoft Store, that should be this one. Okay. There, now we're, now we're live again. Microsoft OneDrive, this time it was OneDrive. 
virus scan unscanned. So it does. So I guess I. So actually, I guess never mind. I've never seen that before. I guess that means it does have a light virus scan. You can essentially manually scan something. So again, it's not automatic. But if you're more of an advanced user, this is pretty much the best solution. So let's say we open up something in the Microsoft Store. So let's say we go for Netflix. I'm trying to search for Netflix. Okay. And yeah, of course, you know, Netflix, whatever. Opening up Netflix. Perfect, right? So, go back to the live feed. Whoa, whoa, what was this? Windows Store, Google Chrome, and Host Process. So the Microsoft Store had this big spike in activity. So, what if that was something happening in the background? You wouldn't know it. So, that's why I love this program. This, as some of like a technology guy, so obviously I like little stuff like this. Um, but this is basically to know everything that's going on with your network. So, will this conflict with the Komodo firewall? It will not, because it's not a firewall in the same sense. These can both be running. Even with both of these running, they have very light hits on the system. So, now let's go into security's done with. Okay, if you don't care about security, bye, or if you care about only about security, bye-bye. Have fun. Rock on. So, what if we need to make our computer run fast? Like, we know there's no viruses on our machine, but it's still running slow. How do we solve that? Okay. Two things. First thing you see here, CCleaner. Okay. So, we're going to put these back in there. Oh, my God. Really? Ah, go away. Go away. Okay. So, we have CCleaner. Many of you probably heard of this. It's it stands for crap cleaner. So it essentially I say that word a lot, don't I? Essentially cleaner. You have a bunch of check boxes. So it basically ticks off everything from many different apps and you can manually select stuff if you want. Run cleaner. It'll give you some permission pop-ups when you first offer it and it'll clean up a bunch of junk. A bunch of stuff you don't need like temporary files. You always hear stuff about temporary files. You know, when you get those tacky pop-up ads telling you to download a system cleaner, they, it's, it's literally just stuff your computer doesn't need anymore. You know, it's, it's not your personal documents, it's not your photos, it's not your videos, it's not, you know, your secret folders or, you know, your pictures from your, you know, whatever. It's just cleaning up files that Windows used at one point but doesn't quite need anymore but isn't really doing its job of cleaning it up. Now Windows 10 has a built-in utility for this, but it's still absolute crap compared to CCleaner. And I'm not I'm not saying again, I'm not in the pocket of these guys. Like you see it right here. My machine's on Windows 10, it's on the latest build and everything, and it's still getting stuff. Registry. Now this essentially you scan for stuff that's wrong with the registry. It'll when you even on a fresh Windows installation, it'll have a bunch of things. I cleaned this out already, so I don't have to deal with that. But basically just It'll say, here's all these issues, fix issues, fix them, fix them, do not back up to registry. Because there's no point in that. I've never once seen this program brick a system. You also have tools, like you can uninstall programs. You can even uninstall certain built-in Windows apps. Like if I want to install the uninstall the messaging app, because let's say, you know, or like any of this Windows 10 bloatware, okay, that you don't want. Like say you don't want wallets, you don't want voice recorder, you don't want the Xbox stuff. You don't want, you know, the Microsoft Store. You can even remove the Microsoft Store if you really want to. And it all works and everything. So, it, I mean, you won't be able to install everything. But like, I don't even know what this is. But this is essentially an easier tool than most of the built-in Windows uninstallers. Okay? It's, and you can, you can install universal Windows platform apps as well as regular desktop applications. And you also have, like, System Restore duplicate finder, browser plugins, drive wiper, all kinds of stuff. So, and then of course you have all your settings and you can upgrade it to a premium version that essentially will scan automatically and actually, yeah, it does all this stuff. So, I don't really see a need for that. Another thing to think about security is always keep your programs up to date. You can see I actually don't have this up to date. But, yeah, that's basically that. So, what's the final step 
okay? Because you see all this stuff running down here. What is the last final little step to push it over the edge? And I'm sorry if my mic just popped because I probably just... I need to get a good pop filter, guys. I'm sorry. But we have all this stuff running. What if we don't want this to run? We installed a bunch of these apps and there's crap running in the background. Right-click on your taskbar, task manager. Open up your task manager. Put it in the more details view. Click on startup. And this is simple. Every app that you see that you don't want to start up, just simply click on it and click disable. Like for example, Java update. I hate Java and I want it to die, so I will click disable. Now I just enabled it and I obviously don't want that, so I'm going to disable it. It's as simple as that. It's much easier than in the earlier versions of Windows. But if you have Windows 8 or newer, it's like this. If you're on Windows 7 or older, you'll have to go into the start menu and type in msconfig and it will open up a box and you can go through startup and do the same the same basic thing so what else is there well I mean that's pretty much it if your computer is still slow at this point then the worst case scenario that you might have to do if, if it's not your hardware assuming it's not a hardware issue is sometimes you just need to do a fresh install of Windows sometimes there's just a lot of stuff building up and you kinda just wanna start fresh well how do I do that well find out in the next video. This is that GTA fan 720 signing out. I hope you all have a good one and I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will gladly answer them. And a new video coming out soon will include how to install a copy of Windows, assuming that doesn't screw up because I've tried to do it in the past and it screwed up on me. So if you don't see that, I'm sorry. And how to speed up your Android smartphone. So, anyway guys, this is that GTA Fan 720 signing out. I hope you all have a good one.